So, I've been working on my Heartbeat Bill podcast, and the inf- I've been gathering the information I'm going to be using on this podca- podcast. So, some of the information I will be using for this podcast is some of the answers I got on my Google survey and what people had to say about it. I did get the point of view of a lot of different age groups. So I will be able to discuss more of an adolescent's point of view, um, a millennial, etc., older people. And this will help me explain and show everyone how some depending on what age group we might have different opinions on this subject or we might have we might be more informed on this subject for example older people might not know as much as what the younger kids do because they might be more educated on this subject so not only was i able to gather people's information with this survey but i was also able to educate myself on certain things when people were answering my questions i will also be discussing my uh, the answers i received from my interviewee this was an attorney i found so he will be giving me legal information legal advice so i would like to give um he will give his thoughts on the new law, and I would like to read a few of the questions so you have an idea of what we will be discussing that day. So some of the questions were, with the new passing of the law, what can we be charged with? What legal advice do you suggest for those fighting for abortion rights? Can someone who has a miscarriage or cardiac issues be sued for an abortion procedure? And there's many more questions. So the in, this interview and the answers I will be discussing that on the podcast will just be giving you more of an insight on things we things for that people seeking abortion can do or can avoid so they don't go through they don't get sued or anything like that and it will also just be giving us more information on the legal side of this law Um, The survey was more for the opinions and how people felt about this law. So I would like to give you at least like one or two responses so you have an idea of what it would be like. So we could get a response from maybe someone who is under 16 and maybe someone who's around the ages of 44 and older. So you could see the both different viewpoints okay so now that we know that we're going to be looking at two different viewpoints why don't we start off by looking at some of the viewpoints of the person who is under 16 so i will be reading our question and their answers do you consider abortion morally morally right in these situations the woman such slash girl gets pregnant as a result of sexual assault it depends the woman such girl is unable to financially provide for the child. It depends. The woman such girl has a medical condition where her pregnancy or labor can lead to a death of the mother or baby or both. They said yes. I asked, if you agree with abortions in any circumstances, please explain why. This was the person who is under 16's response. Because if I get pregnant and I decide that I am not ready for the commitment of being a mother, I should have every right to get an abortion because it's my body. I should be allowed to make decisions about what I want to do with my body. No one else should make that decision for me. Now, why don't we look at some of the answers from our person who is 44 and older? The f- question. So I will be again reading the question to you and responding with their answers. Do you consider abortion morally right in these situations? The woman slash girl gets pregnant as a result of sexual assault. They said yes. The woman slash girl is unable to financially provide for the child. They said no. The woman slash girl has a medical condition where her pregnancy slash labor can lead to the death of the mother or baby or both. They said yes. 
I asked, if you don't, if you do not agree with any abortions in any circumstances, please explain why. They said, in my personal opinion, if I knew about the consequences of getting pregnant, you should have not been safe. You should have been safer about conception. There are other options after pregnancy, such as adoption or sur- surrogacy. How they also answer to if you agree with the abortions in any circumstances, please explain why. They said, if a woman is sexually assault- assaulted or has health risks, she should be exempt from getting an abortion. So as you can see, these are some of the things I will be discussing in my podcast. And I will be discussing some of the different viewpoints. So as I showed you, the person who is 44 and older says that abortion is not okay because you knew the consequences of getting pregnant. However, they believe that if it was a re- if you were pregnant as a result of sex so assault or you have health issues then it is okay to have an abortion and our person who is under 16 believes that in general anyone should be able to do whatever they want with their body and should be able to have abortion no matter what so i will be going more into depth on these responses and showing what uh, what most people answered what most people did not answer and just going way more into depth on my on every question